financial literacy levels are really very low in Sierra Leone. One of the biggest uh, challenges that people uh, face over here with, with the economy is that it's a very um, cash-driven economy. People have been used either to banking services or no form of financial services. It's a new market. It's very new and there's a lot that can be done. The Sierra Leone Fintech Initiative is an innovative program focused on building the fintech uh, space in Sierra Leone. It has two parts. One is a regulatory aspect and then the challenge, uh, investment challenge, whereby fintechs can receive investments from FSC Africa and UNCDF to develop their solutions further. The Fintech or Financial Technology Challenge 2017 was created to primarily address the high financial exclusion rate in Sierra Leone by encouraging innovative ideas in providing financial services. The Sierra Leone FinTech Challenge received 20 applicants, including from Ghana and Kenya. Of those uh, 20 applicants, 80% were led by Sierra Leonean youth. That was really encouraging because it goes to show that there's uh, not a lack of brilliant ideas in the market, it's just the lack of uh, supporting infrastructure. I'm Edeline Elba, co-founder of Datapool. Our product is CheckUp, which will provide data to non-bank lenders and trade creditors. My name is Chris Zerwanka, and I'm co-founder and chief innovation officer, essentially head of product for Invested. With Invested, our mission is to create opportunity and access using mobile learning. My name is James Tovani and um, I'm the founder of Ace SL, which is a small accounting business. And my app is called Tasha, which is a really simple bookkeeping app we developed as part of the FinTech Challenge. The Sandbox, uh, I call it like, it's an incubating environment in which new ideas, innovative ideas, be them from incumbents or startups, those new ideas are sort of nurtured under what we call a control environment. They are observed over a period of time and see whether they are good enough for them to be mainstream. It, it gives us official room to say whatever you're doing or are about to do is recognized um, by the people who are there to regulate the sector. So this is an important step forward that can help speed the curve to more innovation reaching the market. So it's good, it's a win-win situation. You explore ideas under the watchful eyes of the central bank. So digitization will provide an, a very important avenue for the country to leapfrog into financial development. Uh, and not just financial development, but also into a variety of other areas to help achieve the sustainable development goals. technology it's it's on the go so it is an opportunity for the sector to grow and bring out solutions that will enhance um, development in the sector in the country we help alleviate poverty in Sierra Leone we have want to bring everybody into the fold of the former financial services it is an exciting place to be in and hopefully if the trajectory continues we will find um, you know that the space would have grown um, over the next um, couple of years it's very important for us to have, you know, things like this in order for um, more ideas to come to life. Um, access to finance is key for development. So as one of our pillars or one of our goals in the central bank is to ensure that the exclusion rates significantly scale down in the, in the next few years.